welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. We have a special treat for you. We are going to be covering HS GovTech. There's going to be a piece of promotional content for you guys traded under the uh, OTC markets here in the U.S. for U.S. investors, ticker symbol HDSLF, and on the Canadian Stock Exchange under HS. We will be providing all of the information used in uh, the making of this video in the description below, as well as the full disclaimer uh, for your uh, uh, review. Uh, please understand this video is made for promotional uh, purposes and is meant to be taken as awareness. Would encourage all investors out there to do their own due diligence. But when we roll out these exciting opportunities, it's looking to bring awareness on companies like HS GovTech that is a leader. Uh, in both Canada and here in the U.S. in bringing software as a service to both state and local government agencies. We're going to talk about the addressable market, uh, their existing pipeline, how they're looking to build upon that, and their exciting portfolio of products that they are looking to bridge the gap between what is available now in our government agencies uh, and the lack of technology that exists and looking to provide those as a custom fit solution for each of their customers to drive that efficiency piece here. So let's jump into it and see what exciting things that are going on right now which with HS GovTech. So I'd love to welcome everybody into the slide deck here for HS GovTech. This is a software as a service, and this will be an introduction to the company as we work through the investor slide deck. Uh, I'll provide all the information on HS GovTech uh, in the description below for your future review, this is an exciting company here that is uh, relatively unknown uh, to the investor community. However, as we get into this investor slide deck, you are going to find that there are years of experience uh, under the management of this company, uh, as well as a, a very sticky retention rate with the customers that they provide uh, their solutions to to drive efficiency at the, both the state and local government levels. And as we work through this, I, I want you guys to accept this as an introduction to uh, HS GovTech. This company has uh, been around a while enough to establish uh, a robust uh, 800 client uh, across North America. They're based both in Canada uh, and here in the U.S. providing their software to drive efficiency within each of these businesses. And I want you to take away a couple of themes that I picked up in my due diligence. These folks are not just looking uh, to provide a cookie cutter type of application. It's the opposite. They are looking to partner with uh, governments, uh, both state and local agencies, uh, as they've done in the past, looking to drive their 25 million uh, of sales pipeline and growing. We'll talk a little bit about the addressable market here a little bit further in the slide deck, but uh, when you partner with HS GovTech, you don't go anywhere. These uh, folks boast a very uh, sticky retention rate in that nearly 100% of the uh, uh, state and local agencies that partner with HS GovTech and start to integrate uh, their software uh, discover very, very quickly that uh, this company is looking to forge a partnership and not to sell them on a one-fit, uh, one-size-fits-all solution. They are looking to partner with, um, they are looking to understand their client's business uh, and through understanding that uh, business that they're looking to cater the technology to, is how they can drive that top-end efficiency uh, at such a high level. We are currently in an era where the technology exists. It's just the integration does not. I can speak about this uh, intimately and personally uh, with uh, my interaction at the federal level in my day-to-day -day interactions, guys. There's an uh, somewhat of an idea that uh, governments are as efficient as they possibly can be, and that's just it couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, but Silas Garrison here, the CEO of GovTech, is looking to uh, create an, an ecosystem here, and that's the collaborative effort of bringing the technology that is uh, not only available today, but uh, rapidly developing and looking to integrate the technology with uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, operations within the uh, state and local governments that have just been accepted to get the job done. And I think those solutions, although uh, are successful in getting the job done, 
the, the, the real trick here with uh, GovTech is their ability to integrate their software to, to drive everything from efficiency to job satisfaction, uh, the ability to deliver uh, on, on time uh, and to actually save customers money. Because when you're driving efficiency, it's talking about you know, less manpower on specific jobs by just doing it smarter uh, using the solutions that we're going to talk about here. Uh, Silas will be a guest on the Independent Investor Channel. We'll get to converse uh, with Silas on um, all of what they're looking to uh, develop here and provide to uh, their customers uh, in the um, uh, in the software as a service space here. So looking forward to that uh, when we uh, have Silas on the program and we get to uh, dig deep with the boss himself and, and, and really hear what exciting developments they have at HS GovTech. So the truth of the matter here is that uh, all levels of government are looking to modernize. It's just that simple. And where GovTech uh, separates itself from its competition, some may say, well, why doesn't a big player like an Oracle uh, just step in and just dominate this space? It's it's not like that. And GovTech prides themselves on coming in and, and really integrating and boasting the ability to be scalable to each of the businesses that they serve. In, in other words, the software is extremely flexible in that they'll come in and they'll write the software for the business at hand. And that's just something that the large uh, tech institutions will not do. They will offer a one-size-fits-all solution uh, and expect that that integration is going to happen and the pain points are just going to have to be accepted. HS GovTech is taking a completely different approach to this uh, through the 20 years of experience in the management team in, in understanding the importance of if you're going to write the software, you need to write it to the business at hand to cater to the actual needs of the customers that they're looking to serve. And GovTech is looking to drive the, uh, really be the face of the software that uh, helps support the interface between our frontline uh, employees with the government and the public that they serve. Really, it kind of comes down to that. And the, the cost effective piece is, is always important. But I think furthermore, governments are looking for solutions that actually work. Uh, these solutions uh, that HS GovTech boasts are, are based in the cloud. Um, they do uh, have shared resources. It's super easy to use. This is feedback that has been garnered from their existing clients uh, in that it does not require a huge plethora of technical expertise and, and, and support structures that really are, are, are rampant in the government. These uh, solutions that have been uh, put into government use uh, historically have required such huge IT infrastructure uh, that, that you, you have to sit back and, and ask yourself, how efficient is this? And, and not only that, but just to ask the frontline workers that are looking to take this one-size-fits-all type of model and ask them what they think of it. Would they say that it's easy to use? Would they say that it's quick and, and reliable? Uh, would they say that it's, it's scalable to their specific businesses? I think the answers that you might uh, find are going to be somewhat scary in that the perception that government is this big, uh, efficient engine uh, all the time, uh, there there might be some uh, discovery there in understanding that there's a lot of work to be done on this front in driving frontline efficiency for our frontline workers. Slide just speaks of the customers that uh, HF, uh, HS GovTech has uh, garnered over uh, the many years of doing business with state and local governments from Virginia to California, uh, to, from Canada, uh, and uh, here in the U.S., uh, they boast a, a, a very impressive uh, suite of clients that they provide their solutions to uh, on an individual basis. Like Silas has uh, said many times on his interviews, uh, looking to create more of an ecosystem of efficiency here, and HS GovTech is right on the forefront of those initiatives for their customers, uh, customers that have been with them for, for years and years, enjoying the software, uh, enjoying the efficiencies that it drive for each one of these uh, specific uh, state and local government agencies. Another snapshot here of the company's geographic diversity in where they have been able to penetrate their uh, state and local markets, uh, their market coverage is impressive, but 
but it is just getting started. Uh, as we look to uh, discuss the addressable market here, I think the important takeaway for would-be investors or anybody out there that is interested in the software as a service space and companies like HS Gov Tech that are looking to take this uh, route of scalable technology right to the front lines. It's important to note here uh, the work that's already been done by this company uh, and uh, how much work needs to be done in continuing to grow uh, their pipeline and to grow their market coverage going forward. HS GovTech has a suite of products all based in the cloud. Uh, some of these have come to bear here within the um, uh, recent past, uh, GovCall being uh, the newest uh, addition to their suite of products here uh, that they offer to their, their customers, all aimed uh, at driving efficiency for uh, uh, back-end uh, managerial uh, staff as well as frontline workers as well uh, to really look at this as a collaborative uh, type of effort for each of the uh, government agencies that they serve. And we'll get into it a little bit more specific, specifically as we talk about each one of these and what unique uh, uh, efficiency each of them drive. So when we roll out the suite of HS GovTech products, it stems from HS Cloud, a cloud-based, uh, fully integratable solution for uh, government frontline workers and, and really to help drive the efficiency and interface between uh, government agencies and the customers that they serve. Guys, I, I can't tell you how important this is. Um, just as simple as uh, drawing up or keeping uh, an organization on the many, many forms that uh, government workers have uh, to, keep, to keep track of, um, you know, when uh, certain permitting uh, costs are are needed to be uh, to be garnered from customers. Uh, the organization and the gathering of that data and what that data could mean is all made possible through the HS Cloud, and it's it all stems from the cloud based on what the end user needs. Uh, is how we go ahead and build this framework of the specific software uh, that the customers need to make sure that they can drive efficiency uh, and, and really grow with the technology. Um, that is the key here is that as the organization grows, we can integrate this software, start the training, start the learnings, understand how you know we don't always have to default to the way things have been done in the past we can look at these new efficient and, and extremely powerful solutions brought to bear here by hs GovTech. very very exciting uh, times uh, starting to integrate these uh, solutions uh, to help really save on time efficiency manpower uh, and the like so when i i look at hs touch it it reminds me of uh, an on-site visit and the ability to capture whether or not that on-site visit is a couple of hours, whether it be a half a day or whether it be a full day on site, whether it be inspection or a spot check of a specific client that you're looking to serve, how much data can be gathered within that specific time frame? Time, frame, time is valuable. Uh, are we spending our times writing on rudimentary forms or are we looking to, to use technology that exists right now on the front lines and gather photographic information, gather all the prudent information, make observations the way that it is supposed to be done and doing so at such a, a, a higher efficiency level. I, I can tell you guys, there is a huge, huge opportunity here with uh, closing the gap between the efficiency, whether it be in that short inspection or site visit or half a day or multi-day site visit, and HS Touch drives that uh, opportunity for ease of interface and collecting that information in the most efficient manner uh, to make sure that whether it be a single on-site inspector or whether it be in accordance with a, a team type of dynamic that splits up certain elements of this site visit that HS Touch can really be the, 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 the single point or the drop point for information as those discoveries are made. Just an absolutely fantastic step in the right direction. Uh, HS uh, GovTech is, is uh, leading the charge in this, um, in this uh, fight. So when I think of my health department, this is really the direct connection with the government. The ability to 
really extend the relationship and, and, and solidify that relationship outside of what can be garnered by an email, a, a phone call, or even direct contact. Um, this is really the uh, interface that uh, can really drive uh, awareness and really connect uh, communications in a way that we have never been able to connect before. And HS GovTech through their My Health Department provides that opportunity in each of these customers' situations to connect directly to the uh, overseeing state or local agency involved in that uh, particular business's permitting, uh, inspection regime, or anything that is necessary that needs to have that oversight provided uh, really just connects that communication piece through the My Health Department solution. And HS Pay, as the name implies here, the ability to transact, uh, an opportunity for HS Gov to realize some of that transaction revenue for providing the software and solution uh, to accept those uh, permitting fees, uh, fee, uh, fines assessed right on site. This is super important, guys. Right now, I can tell you we do this by pen and paper. Uh, and, you know, you, you think, is there a, a better way? Well, HS GovTech is providing that better way, and HS Pay is a step in the right direction here in taking technology right to the front line and making sure that those transactions can happen almost real time uh, as they are discovered. If nothing else coming out of the global pandemic era, it's taught us that a lot of what we can do can be done via through technology. Um, this is where the emergence and really the reliance on uh, uh, platforms like Microsoft Teams and Zoom uh, were brought to the forefront. And I think through that discovery, I think a lot of people understood that maybe they are not uh, the end-all be-all solution for our meeting forums uh, and even specifically some of those tasks that the government are expected to provide to their customers uh, can be done via electronic means. Uh, we don't need to jump into a vehicle, spend time on the freeway, uh, spend that time just showing up on scene to verify what can be verified through a product like GovCall. And GovCall is fantastic. These guys really understand that just by connecting at the ease of use, the efficiency, uh, the seamless application is really a cut above uh, to what has been a, a really a, a lot of frustration in using both Microsoft Teams uh, and some of the security uh, concerns that are surrounding the Zoom application, especially as it relates to specific government activity. And HS GovTech, through their introduction of GovCall, is a, again introducing, introducing that solution for customers uh, as part of their HS Cloud suite of solutions looking to drive that efficiency uh, in the um, in, in this particular uh, avenue. So the money will be there. Uh, government agencies are looking to spend and they are looking to spend in a big, big way. Um, I, I think it's something to be said that where if the word of mouth and, and the solutions that HS GovTech bring to bear uh, speak to how good of a solution they have and how usable it is, um, the sky is the limit with the addressable market. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But governments are looking to integrate, and they are looking to integrate now. The software exists, but if there's anything to take away from this awareness piece, it is to understand that there, there is a severe, and I do mean severe, disconnect in bridging the gap between available technology and software as a service now uh, and the way that the government has always done business in the past. And I think that the real solution here is to look into the foreseeable future and, and really step into a future where these solutions are integrated, they are trained upon, they are learned, they are, they are expected, and, and we are a long way from that end. So when we talk about the opportunity here with HS GovTech, uh, the opportunity needs to be uh, addressed to the uh, how much addressable market are we looking uh, and the willingness of governments to shift to more of a technological based future and the addressable market here this slide speaks to the annual uh, reoccurring revenue base for each of these uh, different segments of the government fire department environmental and hs GovTech has just recently undergone a name change it used to be health space and I like how they uh, retained the HS as kind of a legacy, but GovTech really speaks to more of the holistic 
uh, opportunity here, and it's not contained within these four addressable markets. Um, they are looking to penetrate other areas of the government as well, but this just speaks to a 2.32 billion plus addressable market here uh, to penetrate and, and look to um, get a hold of some of these uh, markets that are all looking to drive efficiency with regard to uh, technology and integration of said technology in each of their respective applications. And annual revenue looking to be garnered from two specific areas, both in subscription revenue and professional services. And just an exciting time to be uh, covering HS GovTech and uh, pursuing the addressable market and how they're looking to integrate their software as a service, uh, not only now but into the future with uh, growing their sales pipeline. Uh, just a, a fabulous time, and I, I, I don't think that HS GovTech could be any better positioned uh, than they are now for the foreseeable future many, many years down the line uh, as they look to integrate their solutions into the uh, uh, government applications that they're looking to assist with. And a quick look at the capital structure here with uh, 44.5 million uh, basic shares outstanding, 60 million of fully diluted, uh, about a 30 uh, million CAD market cap, and about a, a stock price of about uh, 65 cents CAD at the time of filming this video uh, sits at about oh, 42 cents USD uh, for the US investors here. We will provide all of that information via the ticker symbols in the description below as well. But just a quick uh, snapshot on the capital structure of the company. And just to highlight the management and directors here with just a, an absolute uh, plethora of experience in the space. Uh, led by uh, none other than uh, the CEO and director, Mr. Silas Garrison. He will be a guest on the channel. We'll get to speak a little bit more uh, with Silas and understand any new developments uh, and uh, any new uh, and exciting initiatives that uh, HS GovTech uh, are taking on. So look forward to that here. But uh, uh, just a snapshot here of the management and directors at HS GovTech. Thank you very much for remaining with me through the totality of this review of HS GovTech. I want to make sure and invite everybody, if you want to find out more information about HS GovTech, you can visit uh, their website at www.hsgovtech.com. And just as a reminder, I will provide uh, the links to the website as well as any other information that was used in the production of this video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in to this coverage of HS GovTech. It's been an honor to cover and introduce the exciting uh, suite of uh, products that HS GovTech brings to bear uh, to help drive the efficiency in our state and local governments uh, in a multi-tier uh, agency fashion here. I wanna remind the audience that we're gonna bring on uh, Silas Garrison, the CEO of HS GovTech. So stay tuned for that. Guys, if you enjoy the information coming through on the Independent Investor Channel, I would invite you to leave your comments at the bottom of the video, subscribe to the message, and share the message with anybody out there looking for companies like this on the cutting edge of technology. It's never been a better time to look at these companies as they are emerging. Technology exists. And uh, even governments are looking how to drive that efficiency and provide those investments in those areas uh, to really help uh, in bridging the gap between um, what we have now and the technology that exists in the marketplace. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this, this video and good luck in your investment future.